Hey, good morning to you. It's February 29th, 2024. Where do you start in life every day? Where do, how, do you, how do you start the morning? How do you end the evening? How do you start a marriage? How do you start a family? How do you start a job? Where do you start at? What's the beginning point? What's the alpha? There's a beginning to everything. I'm pointing you on this walk and talk, February 29th, 2024. First, start with the knowledge from God. Yes, use the knowledge from man, assuming that it agrees with the knowledge of God. I'm going to point you to the Bible. I'm going to point you to what God says. The Bible says, begin with God. The Bible says, start with Jesus. Here's Proverbs chapter 8, verse 12, it says, I, wisdom, dwell with prudence, and I find knowledge and discretion. And then the next verse says, the fear of the Lord is to hate evil. The fear of the Lord is to hate pride. The fear of the Lord is to hate arrogance. The fear of the Lord is to hate the evil way, and the perverted mouth, I, wisdom, hate. What these verses are clearly saying is you can start your life every day, everywhere you go, whatever topic you would like to talk about, you can start building your knowledge first with with God, first from God. Or you can ignore God and just maybe even a little bit of God's knowledge and build your life on man's knowledge. So as you live, whether it's sports or family, whether it's news, relationships, conflict, wherever you go, these verses are saying, I, wisdom, dwell with prudence, and I find knowledge, and I, wisdom, find discretion. Well, where do you get knowledge from? Where do you get prudence from? Where do you get discretion from, if you want to be wise? And the answer simply is knowledge from God. That's where we start. First, knowledge from God. In other words, a foundation of your life, the foundation of your life, is knowledge from God. What does God say? What does the Bible say about family, about marriage? about relationships, about friendships, about work, about laziness. What does, the, what does God say? What does the Bible say about doing life? What is valuable in life? I'm gently saying in this walk and talk that if you want to have the best life, begin always coming back to the knowledge from God, the knowledge about God, the knowledge of God. Let me give you some practical suggestions. It seems that we move away from God with a new idea, a new thought, something that entertains us. It can be 
some idea that we get that we just make up, uh, such as uh, you you can have any identity you want. You can just randomly make up your identity. Uh, that identity could be based upon uh, the, the color of your skin, or it could be based upon uh, gender. It can, I, in other words, my identity. I want to do whatever I want to do. I want to identify with that, and it doesn't matter what anybody says. I'm suggesting to you to first come back to the Bible, come back to God, come back to the knowledge, and begin there. In the process of education, most individuals have have absolutely no boundaries. Most individuals, they want to do whatever they want to do, and they educate themselves. They, they find knowledge based upon whatever they want. I'm gently saying, start with God. Get your knowledge from God. I'm going to gently say to you, that's how the Bible is written. The Bible assumes God. The second suggestion. Your knowledge, your facts about anything, build them first on what the Bible says, not what your feelings are telling you. In other words, your emotions, your emotions are random. There are some emotions that are that are specific to a situation. But generally speaking, emotions are random. The knowledge that you want needs to be securely from God, foundationally from God. What does God say about family? What does God say about truth? What does God say about Science. What does God say? What does the Bible say about math? What does the Bible say about the stars in the heaven? What does the Bible say? In other words, it's not what your feelings, it's not what your emotions, that's not your foundation. Your foundation, your knowledge base comes from God not your feelings. Many times, as we live our lives, we react. Knowledge should not be based upon a reaction. Knowledge should be based upon something that's true. And feelings, emotions, are often very fickled. Uh, They politely are hard to control. Recently, someone said to me, they uh, found themselves during the week or so crying often. And I'm just gently saying to you, your, your feelings could be triggered by something, yes, but don't build your knowledge base on your feelings. I'll give you another example. Recently, someone said to me uh, that they just simply uh, got hooked on gambling. And when I asked why, and they had they had lost thousands of dollars, they just simply said it was the idea that they could win the big one. Somewhere as we live our life, first, knowledge from God. Somewhere as we go down the path of life, in your marriage, in your family, in your friendship, at work, in your thoughts, in your emotions, what does God say? What does the Bible say 
about my feelings, about my emotions, what about my reaction. I'm gently saying that if you want to become wise, if you want to be prudent, the Bible says, find the knowledge of God. Find knowledge that comes from God. Not only are you discovering there is a God, but what does God say? What does God instruct about lifestyle, about food, about fun, about good versus evil? What is the knowledge in the Bible that God gives us on any topic that you would like to pick? I'm gently saying, foundationally, build your knowledge from God. Nothing wrong with using man's knowledge. As long as man's knowledge does not counterdict God's knowledge. So the next suggestion is knowledge from God first and then man's knowledge. And as long as the knowledge from humanity doesn't disagree with the knowledge from God, you can use man's knowledge. Notice the word disagree. You can't be in favor, you can't be pro the knowledge of God and pro the knowledge of humanity and they contradict each other. They disagree with each other. Knowledge about any topic needs to begin first with the knowledge of God. Use the wisdom, use your ideas, understand that as you are trying to solve a problem, start with the knowledge of God. Let me give you another practical suggestion. Uh, God's knowledge has been recorded in the Bible. That's the foundation of the knowledge of God. Yes, there's other forms of knowledge, uh, laws about gravity that God has created, laws about math that God has created, but those are secondary. In other words, if the foundational knowledge from God says God created life and man's knowledge comes along and says, no, God did not create life. Life evolved, meaning it started from nothing. It did not start from God. Yes, life changes, uh, but the, what's the starting point? First, God creates life. If man's knowledge contradicts that, there's a, there's a disconnect. I'm gently saying to you, find out what the Bible says about a giving topic. And yes, you can use man's knowledge as long as it doesn't contradict, as long as it doesn't lie against God's knowledge. It seems that another practical suggestion. To me, as I watch life, people select some things in the Bible and they ignore other things. Uh, I call it cherry picking. It's, it's in other words, I don't like what the Bible says about apples or oranges or 
bananas. I don't like what the Bible says about oranges. So they disregard that. Come back and build your foundational knowledge on what does God say? What does he say in the Bible? And then build from there. Don't get caught up in having a bias against the Bible or against something the Bible says. God has given us a knowledge base and that knowledge base is found in the Bible. And your job, my job, is to read the Bible and discover the gold nuggets, the knowledge that comes from God, and then build your life from there, always in agreement with the knowledge of God. A simple suggestion, don't compromise the foundation. Don't, don't ignore certain parts of the Bible that were meant for you. Some parts of the Bible uh, have specific wisdom, specific knowledge that you should not ignore. Let me give you a, a simple uh, example. The Bible says, says, whatever you do, do it all to the glory of God. That's a foundational motivation. Why do I do what I do? The knowledge of the Bible says to honor God, to glorify God, to point people toward God. My motive for doing things should not be primarily what I want to do, but does it agree with God? Don't be in conflict with the knowledge of God. Let me give you another example. A simple example. The Bible says, says never lie, never lie. Uh, manipulate the truth. Never uh, cheat the truth. Never lie to one another. And yet, humans, people, can take that simple, basic, foundational thought, never lie, and they can come up with a hundred exceptions. I'm gently saying, if the Bible says don't manipulate the truth, don't lie, don't suppress, don't cheat against the truth, then your foundational knowledge should always be strong. Only the truth. Never distort the truth. The Bible says, speak the truth in love. And that truth is not your truth or my truth. It's the truth from God. It's the truth about God. It's not what you want. It's not what you feel. It's what does God in the Bible, what does God say? What does God instruct? This foundation first the knowledge from God, the foundation in everything you do first. What is the knowledge about this topic? What is the knowledge about this situation from God? Let me give you another practical suggestion. Recently, someone was just simply uncertain about they brought in a roommate they rented a bedroom to a roommate and that roommate in one or two months basically ignored what the contract said what was agreed upon 
And they asked me, how do they handle that? And I'm just going to simply say to you and say to them, the Bible says, speak the truth in love. But they didn't want to do that. They, they were upset, frustrated. And yes, they spoke the truth a little bit, but they kept ignoring the bigger issues. And I said, it sounds to me like you're struggling with speaking the truth in kindness. The Bible says, speak the truth only in love, not in anger, not in malice, not in hate, but in kindness. And I said, it sounds like you, you, your courage is lost. You're afraid to speak the truth in love, meaning only the truth, only in love, specifically spoken, hey, this roommate situation is not working out. And um, we're giving you your one month notice, your two month notice. They couldn't do that. And they asked, how do they do that? And I just simply said, you got to find courage, courage to speak the truth and love and don't avoid it. That's a foundation from God, foundational knowledge. God says, be courageous, but be kind. In other words, be bold, but the Bible says, be humble. Be gentle, the Bible says. You can, you can be courageous, you can be bold, and you can be humble, confident, but not confident in yourself, but confident in the knowledge that you found the truth and you're willing to speak the truth. So I'm just simply saying in this walk and talk, February 29th, 2024, every day, it doesn't matter where you're at, find the knowledge from God. I, wisdom, Proverbs 8, 12. I, wisdom, dwell with prudence and I find knowledge. And finding that knowledge is knowledge from God primarily and then secondarily knowledge from people as long as it doesn't counterdict the knowledge of God as long as it doesn't lie against the knowledge of God this is walk and talk 200 first get knowledge find knowledge from God February 29th, 2024. It's a great day. It's a cool morning. It's in the uh, upper 50s in uh, Mesa, Arizona. Uh, you're invited to worship uh, and study the Bible with us every Sunday at 9.30 and 11. Uh, we even have an 8 o'clock adult class for older uh, wiser folks and invite you to that. We have kids, kids Bible studies, teenage Bible studies, college class, men's classes, women's classes. Uh, you should be studying the Bible to get the knowledge from God. You should be worshiping God uh, regularly because that's foundational knowledge. I hope today uh, you're building your life foundationally on the knowledge from God. You'll discover greater joy, less frustration, more peace because you're practicing the knowledge that God gives you, the knowledge found in the Bible, not, not your emotions, primarily knowledge from God, secondarily uh, knowledge from people, and secondarily uh, knowledge that you might gain through experience, but primarily build your foundation 
on the knowledge of God. This is Walk and Talk 200, February 29th. If our church can help you in any way, uh, you can call 480-839-0926, First Baptist Church, Tempe, Arizona. You can uh, find us at 4525 South McClintock. If you want to check out our website, uh, fbc-tempe.org. Have a great day enjoying what God has given to you. Blessings.